In today's tech-driven world, seamlessly connecting devices has become an integral part of maximizing productivity and entertainment. Whether you're sharing presentations, streaming videos, or enjoying mobile apps on a larger screen, being able to mirror or cast your Android device to a Windows PC without extra software or cables is a game-changer. Windows 11, Microsoft's latest operating system, has made it easier than ever to mirror or cast your Android screen wirelessly. You no longer need third-party apps, nor do you need to hassle with USB cables, it's all built right into Windows 11. This tutorial will walk you through the process of casting or mirroring your Android device to your Windows 11 PC, step by step. We will explain how to use the inbuilt wireless display feature in Windows, which allows you to connect your phone wirelessly and project its screen directly onto your PC. We'll break down each step clearly and provide insights into how the process works so that by the end of this guide, you'll be able to enjoy content from your Android phone on your computer with ease. Screen mirroring has endless benefits. Whether you want to share media on a bigger screen, give a presentation, or manage apps and settings from your phone on a PC, this functionality can simplify tasks for both personal and professional use. Now, let's walk you through the steps to make this magic happen. The first thing you need to do is open your Windows 11 settings menu. From the Windows taskbar, click on the Start button or press the Windows key on your keyboard. This will bring up the start menu where you can access the settings. Once the start menu appears, click on settings. Inside the settings window, locate and click on the system tab on the left hand side. This is where you'll find the main controls for managing various system features, including what you need to mirror your Android device. Once you are in the system section, scroll down to find optional features. This is where Windows houses the additional features that are not installed by default. These features are optional because they are not essential for every user, but they provide powerful functionality for specific use cases. In this case, you are going to add the wireless display feature, which is what allows Windows 11 to receive wireless projections from your Android device. Click on optional features and then proceed to the next screen where you will see a button that says view features. Click on it to access a list of all optional features that you can add to your system. Now, in the View Features menu, you will need to search for the Wireless Display feature. You can easily do this by typing Wireless Display into the search bar at the top of the window. Once you find it, you will see a checkbox next to the feature. Select the checkbox, and you'll see that the Wireless Display feature is only about 2.62 megabytes in size. After selecting it, Click on Next to proceed. On the next screen, Windows will prompt you to confirm that you want to install the feature. Click Install, and the installation process will begin. The installation process is quick, and once it's done, you'll have the wireless display feature installed on your PC. To confirm that the feature has been successfully installed, you can go back to the Optional Features menu and look under the list of installed features. You should now see Wireless Display listed among them. This confirms that your PC is ready to receive wireless projections from your Android device. Now that wireless display is installed, you need to configure your PC's projection settings to make sure everything works the way you want it to. To do this, open the Start menu again and search for Projection Settings. Once you open the Projection Settings menu, you'll have a few different options for controlling how and when your PC can receive wireless displays. You can set it up based on your preferences, but here's the setup that works best for most people. Under some Windows and Android devices can project to this PC, select Available Everywhere. This allows you to project to your PC regardless of where your phone is, as long as both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Also make sure the PC is plugged into power source. Next, under Ask to project to this PC, select every time a connection is requested. This ensures that your PC will notify you whenever an attempt is made to cast to it, giving you control over which devices are allowed to connect. Lastly, under the option Require PIN for pairing, you can set it to Never if you want a quick, hassle-free connection without needing to enter a PIN each time. Once you've configured these settings to your liking, your PC is ready to receive wireless display connections from your Android device. Now that your PC is all set up, it's time to connect your Android phone. Before proceeding, 
make sure that both your Android phone and your Windows 11 PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This is crucial because wireless display functionality only works if both devices are on the same network. Different Android devices use different names for screen mirroring or casting functionality, depending on the manufacturer and model. On most Samsung devices, for example, it's called Smart View, on Huawei devices, it's called Mirror Share, and on some others, it's simply referred to as Cast. Pull down the notification bar on your Android device by swiping down from the top of the screen. Look for the Cast, Smart View, or Mirror Share option, depending on your device. If you don't see it right away, you may need to expand the Quick Settings menu by swiping down again or tapping the pencil icon to edit the Quick Settings options. Once you find the screen mirroring option, tap it. Your phone will begin searching for available devices to cast to. In the list of available devices, you should see the name of your Windows 11 PC, the one you confirmed earlier. Tap your PC's name to connect. Once your Android device connects to your PC, you should see your phone's display mirrored on your Windows 11 screen. The connection may take a few seconds to establish, but once it does, you'll be able to see everything from your Android phone on your computer. You can now enjoy the benefits of having your phone's display projected onto a larger screen. This is especially useful for viewing media, playing games, making presentations, or navigating apps on a bigger display. After the initial connection, you might want to adjust the display settings or experiment with different projection modes. Windows 11 allows you to adjust the projection mode according to your needs. For instance, you can extend your display, duplicate it, or even use the PC screen as a secondary display for your phone. You have now successfully mirrored your Android device to your Windows 11 PC wirelessly without using any third-party apps or cables. This process opens up a variety of possibilities for using your Android phone with your PC, whether for work, entertainment, or presentations. Windows 11's built-in wireless display feature makes this process seamless and easy, eliminating the need for complicated setups. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you can now enjoy a larger, more immersive viewing experience and make the most out of your Android and Windows devices working together. For more tech tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. See you in the next video.